Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle, if you didn't know, now you do. And thanks for joining me. Today's video is going to be all about decluttering your life. And this is just not your house, this is the rest of your life too. And we'll make it a little bit easier. So uh, let's just get into the video, huh? Number one on the list is learn to say no. If you don't want to do the activity, don't do the activity. Don't feel like you should just because somebody asked you. This will keep your life pretty simple and decluttered of extra things that you don't want to be doing. Um, things like, oh I don't know, I can't even think of anything right now. Uh, if I don't want to do something or if I don't want to participate in a particular activity, if I don't want to go to a party, if I don't want to go out to the bar with my friends, if I don't, you know, whatever. If, if I don't want to do something, I basically just say, no, I don't really feel like doing that right now, thank you. Um, maybe next time, and maybe next time you will feel like doing it. So um, I've learned to say no. It keeps my life down to pretty simplistic terms. It means I get to set snuggle with my dog, I get to hang out at home where I like to be, and if I feel like going out, that's my choice, and it's special. Number two on the list will be good for you and for your space. Throw out old and expired makeup, and then clear out the stuff that you're not using. Over the summertime, uh, I cleared out a lot of my makeup, and I sold it on Facebook Marketplace, which is not a place you hear about a lot, except for those people selling weird shit in their house. So I managed to sell like over half of my makeup uh, over the summertime and all I did was, you know, clean it with alcohol and then I sold, most of it was practically new because I'd used it so little and it has been so nice because I can find things, I'm not overwhelmed with like not using certain things. Um, so yeah, get rid of old and expired makeup and sell off what you're not using. Number three is stop doing things that you just feel like you're supposed to be doing. So if you feel like you're supposed to be going to the gym but you hate it, find some other physical activity that you like doing better that can replace that, but it'll save you so much time of dreading going to the gym putting it off to the last minute, wasting all the time before you have to like go to the gym. If you hate it, just find something else to replace it with. Stop doing it because society says that you have to. Another thing that could be an example of that is stop letting the world tell you that you should be smaller than you are. Stop dieting if you don't want to be dieting. It's going to save you so much mental clutter as well as clutter in your life because you can just eat what you want, you can be responsible for yourself, not worry about what anybody else has to say. Number four is give away books that you've already read and aren't keeping just for reference. Give them away to friends. Maybe they'll find them useful. If that's not going to work, give them to a thrift store. Sell them off, maybe. Just stop keeping books that you've read once and are never going to read again. Number five is similar to number four. This is get rid of DVDs, Blu-rays, etc. that you're never going to watch again or you could buy digitally on iTunes or whichever. Say it came with a digital copy. Download the digital copy, sell off the movie part or donate it to wherever and just save yourself all that space. And then you don't have to take care of the disc either because it could get scratched. You also don't have to keep a DVD player. Um, I don't even own a TV. I just watch things on my computer. So that is a great way to save space, declutter, less crap for you to have to dust in your house. Number six is do a closet clean out at the beginning of the year. Don't wait for spring. Do it at the beginning of the year and pull everything out, try everything on, get rid of things you haven't worn in the last 12 months because that'll cover all the seasons, and get rid of old boots, shoes, things that are just in the back of your closet collecting dust that you've probably not seen in a long time. Get rid of the things you're not using, 
donate them, sell them. Also something I did over the summertime, I cleaned out my closet, went through all the things that I'd bought, maybe only worn once, and really didn't feel comfortable wearing. I sold them off to a bunch of lovely ladies who are now enjoying them themselves. And they saved some money, I made some money, and my closet was much lighter. Number seven is a declutter for your house and something for your sanity. Put all your hair elastics in the same place. I have a little like pineapple jar thing that I put all of my hair elastics in except for the one that sits beside my bed when I take it out at night. The rest are pretty much in that pineapple. And sometimes I go around my house collecting all the ones that I left around and put them back in the pineapple. But this is so that you're not going, hmm, I really thought I had 50 more hair elastics than I actually do. Why do I only have this one that's on my wrist? And you'll know exactly where to go to find them. And you'll know when it's time to get a new package because there won't be any in the pineapple. I mean, after you've done a quick sweep of your house to see if you have any left. This is probably like my number one tip because I'm always losing my hair elastics. My dog is always eating my hair elastics. And this way I know exactly where they are or where to find one. Number eight. This is something that, I don't know, people hoard candles apparently. I'm not one for this because if I don't like the candle, it's getting thrown out because it'll probably make me sick if I keep it. But if you have a bunch of candles in your house that you've lit a couple of times and you didn't really like, really like the smell of, donate them. Someone will buy them from the thrift store. If you have a bunch of candles that are down to like their last little bit and you're not burning them, either burn them off and get rid of the jar or just get rid of it because it's taking up space in your house, it's collecting dust in your house, and you could start off a fresh new candle. You know, one that is more appropriate for the season maybe? Who knows? Number nine is cut back on the knickknacks. So all those like little sentimental things that are around your house, whether they be, you know, I don't really have a whole lot, most of mine are just like candle holders. Um, if you have a lot of little like things, decorative things that are just there to be decorative and collect dust, maybe you want to cut back on those. Some of them may be sentimental, maybe you should, you know, put them away somewhere where they're going to be safe and not break. Others may be just there so they look pretty, but if you cut down on how many you have, you have much less dusting to do and you have so much more open space. I did this a couple years ago and I cleared out a lot of stuff that I was keeping, decorative items that I thought I needed, and my life is just so much more easy now. I don't accidentally knock stuff over with my elbow and take out a whole roll of like roll of like ceramic somethings. It's just easier and your life is a lot less crowded that way. Number 10 is probably the one tip nobody wants to follow because, you know, this part really sucks. Go through your sock underwear and bra drawer and throw out all the worn out ones, all the ones with holes, all the ones that really shouldn't be seen ever, uh, especially underwear because girls do this too. Your period underwear eventually have to go in the trash, ladies. Just clear it out, match up all your socks, try on your bras. If they don't fit anymore because we do change bra sizes over the years and your bras will shrink or stretch or whichever, if they don't fit anymore, get rid of them. Donate the bras to a women's shelter or a thrift store somewhere and then get rid of the socks and underwear because everyone should just have socks that are matched up. You don't necessarily have to match them up. You could just get all the same kind of sock and put them all in the drawer and then you're good. Just throw out the ones with holes. Um, but everyone deserves like socks that don't have holes in them and underwear that don't fall down while you walk because the elastic is gone. Um, yeah. Well, those are my 10 tips for decluttering your life. If you have any extra tips, leave them down below. I'm happy to hear them or read them, I guess. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel because we're doing a whole week of these new year, new you type videos and organizing our lives together.
because a lot of the stuff I am doing myself in the background where you can't see and uh, hopefully I'm, I'm gonna get my shit together this year. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Bye!